Uh, hey, Michaela, just taking a look at your design here. I'm liking this quite a bit. So I noticed you did a color fill on your on your hard hat here, but you need to put that on maybe try multiply as the blending mode. I think you still had it on normal. Or wait, which one am I on here? I'm on the wrong one. I meant to say your hard hat looks good as a color burn. Sorry. Uh, I think you had it on normal. If you put it on color burn, you could also try other ones, but color burn seems to work pretty well for that particular um, shape and color or the, that particular image. We have another gradient fill here that you've done, which is awesome. And this one looks pretty good on multiply. Um, and let's see, I like that you kind of did like an erase eraser type thing, like a ripped edge on this. It looks like a ripped edge that is revealing, which it might be like a pine tree, but it's it's revealing the church here. We have a jellyfish in your pocket here. So we do need, so you have one, two, you have two layer masks. What's this one? This one might be a layer mask too. So you have three. So you just need one more. Um, if you bring in another object into the sky or you could try yeah, I would say file place embed another image or linked either way, honestly, in, in another another element. Um, let's see here. Uh, I might have something around here. So maybe like a dove. Um, I did already do the clipping mask on this one, but you know, maybe you could put a bird up here or something that might symbolize, you know, more of the church, potentially, like the Holy Spirit. Um, if you found a dove online, you can go look on, let's see, I don't want to be here. Uh, don't look at those grades. Um, Pexels.com, maybe dove. Pick up dove. Do they have any white doves flying? Yeah, I guess they're flying. Well, most of them are not white. That might be okay. But we might want a white one. This one's not bad. We could download that. Definitely the original size. Okay, that's in our downloads folder. Now I can bring that into Photoshop. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Like that. File, place embedded. We'll bring in that dove that we from our downloads folder. And we can do, let's try to do the quick selection. Actually, let's do the object selection on this one. This one might be kind of hard because the background is really similar to, well, that's not too bad, to the, or the subject, but it actually did pretty well. Let's go to select and mask. And you can see in here, that's actually a pretty good selection. If we feather that out a little bit on the edges, just to soften it, that would probably be pretty nice. Put this on layer mask, push OK. And then we can do a Command T on our keyboard, or Control T on our Windows. And we can maybe put this somewhere in here. Um, you can flip images too, so I'm gonna push Return. We could do, you know, we're still on that Dove image. Where is that? At? There it is. Let's just make sure we're on that. We can go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, and we could have it go. The other way potentially. I'm not sure which one I like better, honestly. Command T. Maybe we want to rotate it. We want to get that double arrow. You have to kind of go towards the side or the corner of your selection and maybe do that. Yeah. So that's looking pretty good. And then you would have four. You don't have to do a bird necessarily. You could do something different. Um, you could try. Maybe the paintbrush with the color loaded. I'm not sure which color you want to go with. Maybe like a blue or something. And you could put this, you could put a new layer in here. And you could put it over the background image, maybe. And you could put this on maybe multiply. And you could paint in maybe just in the background, which you could do a, a better job of this. I'm just doing a really quick job, but you could maybe paint some colors into the background and then we could change our color up 
And I'll do different colors. That's too close to your hat color, probably. But you get my, you get what I'm saying. Um, and if you need to erase it, just use the eraser to, to erase those areas. Oops, I'm on the cross stamp. I meant to put on the hoop. On the eraser tool. And you know, if you need to make adjustments. But this is on its own layer. Maybe you want to change the background colors um, using a smaller brush than what I used, and maybe zoom in to get close so that you can paint. Um, and you know, change the size of your brush up here. The hardness, well, this is the hardest it goes. This is softer. You can see how that softens there. But yeah, you could just go along and you know, do the details. I'm not saying these colors are the ones you would go with, but like it might just kind of make it look a little bit more interesting. You could also do a hue saturation layer above the layer of you, the self-portrait copy layer. If you hold on Alt or Option and click on that, oops, click on that line, it will only apply to that layer below it, and then you can change the hue saturation on the image of you if you wanted to. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually helping that much, but maybe maybe you might want to change that a little bit. Make that coat brighter. Some some stuff to experiment with. I wouldn't use green around the green hat, but. Um, just some ideas for you. Okay, it looks really good. Uh, let's look at the image mode. We want to make sure we're in CMYK. You are. This looks correct, so your image size is good. Alright, awesome job. Um, look forward to seeing the final product. Talk to you later.